everyone. This is vlog number 86, and uh, just going to be a short little vlog. I'm just going to say a few things uh, that occurred to me, an interesting uh, workaround for your glasses. You see, these are the glasses I wear when I'm driving. They're slightly tinted prescription glasses, and uh, I wear them when I'm driving, or, you know, I don't really need them when I'm reading, but at the house, if I'm reading a book and going back and forth looking at the TV, I'll wear them because I have astigmatism. So anyway, the little ends, the little rubber ends broke off on one side. Then I managed to break the other side. It left these very sharp, exposed wire points. And for anybody that's wore glasses or even sunglasses, you know, sometimes you poke yourself in the eye when you're going to put them on. And uh, to poke yourself with one of these wire things would be disastrous. My uh, wonderful parrot, Caesar, about 30 years ago, poked me in the eye with her sharp beak. She was leaning over. She was on my shoulder. And she was leaning over to do a little grooming thing on my beard. And I was turned the other way. And I turned back just as she was reaching. And she inadvertently got me right in the eye. And she's got a very sharp end on, her, on the top beak. And uh, man, I had to wear an eye patch. I look like I really look like a pirate because I had to wear an eye patch for like a couple of weeks, and uh, it was painful. So anyway, in order to fix this, now they make little ends that you can get at optical shops, and I, I just uh, got to my toolbox and took out heat shrinking tubing. And heat shrink tubing is meant for electrical connections. It comes in different sizes, but I happen to have a patch, a pack of it. And uh, I took these, I found which size would fit on here snugly, and I uh, slid one on, snipped it off just a little bit longer than the end, and then what you do is you take a cigarette lighter, you can use a, a hot hair dryer, uh, and you just heat it, and it shrinks over the end. It's nice and solid. If you're using a match or a cigarette lighter, you want to take care that you don't uh, set it on fire. You just want to heat it a little bit. You can turn it as you're doing it. Anyway, it's a neat little hack, and it's saving me from poking myself in the eye with my glasses. Uh, so I just thought I'd share that with you. Now, I just came from McDonald's, having my, uh, you know, McDonald's late afternoon. It's not really a lunch. I'll have a real late dinner. I don't know what you'd call it. Whatever it was, it was a big hamburger. I, it was a quarter pounder. Now, my complaint for the day is that the quarter pounders appear to have shrunk. They're supposed to be a quarter pound. They didn't look like a quarter pound. The bun looks smaller. The meat, look, they're pulling a fast one on us, I think. You know the candy bars you had when you were a kid? You buy the same size candy bar now, and it's like uh, a fraction of the size that it was when you were a kid. When I was a kid, I used to get these big Tootsie Rolls. They were a nickel. And it was like about this big in the package. And then this happened a long time ago. These guys are really slick. They wanted to keep the cost down. Well, it wasn't a, it wasn't a nickel, I'll give you that, anymore. What they did was they shrank the uh, big Tootsie Roll to like half its size. The package stayed the same. You know, they're just uh, messing with us. So, anyway, the hamburger has shrunk. I suppose I shouldn't complain. The price of beef is pretty high. I mean, uh, I don't think you hardly save anything by buying your own hamburger patties or your hamburger meat at the store. And then a pet peeve of mine about that is I don't like making my own hamburger patties. I don't like buying a, you know, a few pounds of ground beef and handling that uh, squishy, bloody beef and making hamburger patties out of it. So, I get the preset patties, and lately I've been buying these half-pound patties. And I know darn well that quarter pounder was not half the size, half the thickness of those half-pound patties I get at the store. So, uh, yeah, McDonald's is skimping on us, I think. Anyway, I'm out here at the little pond. I'll put a couple of still pictures. I know you can see a truck behind me, but ahead of me is the little pond. And, uh... Not a whole lot going on. It's beastly hot out. 
I mean, we are just having a, you know, it's hot here, but we're having a heat wave for this uh, Memorial Day weekend. It's uh, it's in the 90s, you know, 93, I don't know what it is today, 93, 94. I got out early, cut my grass. This morning, it was cool. If you got out there early, you didn't want to crank up the mower earlier than 8 or so to bother the neighbors. But I uh, got that done and uh, before it got super hot out. So when it's really hot out, a lot of the animals, uh, they lay low. Alligators stay under the cool water, relatively cool. And uh, I see a few birds flitting around out there on the reeds that are growing, the, whatever those aquatic plants are that are choking off my little pond. And, um, and that's about it. So this isn't much of a vlog. But I wanted to keep my hand in, let you know what I'm up to, boring stuff. <laughs> anyway, I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday weekend. And for you folks in uh, Europe and uh, the UK and England, uh, Australia, Thailand, all my friends uh, up there. And uh, I have friends in Finland and Norway. I got friends all over the place. If I've left anybody out, I apologize. So uh, I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend, and uh, I'll see if I can come up with some kind of an interesting video. My videos haven't been doing all that great lately. I don't know why. I can't get on the Google search, the YouTube search. Uh, maybe my videos just aren't that great. I don't know. Anyway, have a good one.